They are charged with moving cargo and personnel around the world anytime, anywhere. The 437th Aerial Port Squadron plays a crucial role as a power projection platform supporting all Department of Defense entities for the Southeast region. I was invited out to Joint Base Charleston to get a firsthand look at their day to day mission. Meet the 437th Aerial Port Squadron Live Fives Military Heroes of the Month. 389 personnel, both military and civilian, make up the 437th Squadron. They have more than 7,000 years experience between all of them. Day to day is very busy, as you can see. Going on behind me, a lot of big moving equipment pieces that we have here. Everything from major forklifts, trucks, um, cargo, lots of things happening all at once. Um, the good thing about our team here is that we have a team of dedicated military and civilian professionals. Um, they work together day in and day out to make sure that we're doing this safely and appropriately to provide all of this cargo to our customers. They deal with hundreds of pieces of cargo every day. A couple of challenges include the need for rapid response of a global and geographically separated scale. We are a port here, so we ship receive, process, everything that you can imagine. Um, so Charleston is very unique in that it is a rail, air, and uh, transportation port, so where the three meet in the middle. Um, so we are the centerpiece to transport everything globally, both through and around Joint Base Charleston. On average, the 437th deals with 650 tons a month. And when you think about all of that equipment and food and supplies they're moving, it takes some muscle. We're out on the aircraft pushing these pallets onto the aircraft, um, pushing them onto our K loaders and the, the wheels that aren't the best. So we definitely have to put some back into it. Um, and we definitely feel it at the end of the day. They took me up in one of the K loaders. This one has the option to hold about 60,000 pounds and can go super high, basically being able to load things at any given height for the plane. Supervisors come in daily before any of the shifts start. They look at what missions they have for the day, which airmen are on duty, and place people in the correct positions, like cargo and ramp operations. They're almost like an Amazon 2.0 on a larger scale, and things have to move ASAP. When a piece, uh, when a part comes inside, the first thing we do, obviously, is sign for it from the carrier. We accept accountability for that part, and then we actually open the box. And there's a document that comes with the box that tells us what's inside of the box, the quantity, and where it's going to once it gets to Joint Base Charleston. So the team uh, behind me, they open the package, they inspect the part, make sure there's no damages, and also make sure that we got what was intended for us in terms of quantity and things like that. And then after we do that, then we turn it over to our counterparts in maintenance, and then that's when they put it on an aircraft. Do y'all have any classified material that comes through? Comes through here. Uh, I can't either confirm nor deny that, but we have several different parts that we process that come through uh, to support Joint Base Charleston here. In September, JBC and the 437th took on the Guantanamo Bay mission. It's a weekly rotation of rations, mail, cargo, anything they can get down to Guantanamo Bay. In fact, it's the only way the 6,000 personnel at Guantanamo Bay get anything. They ship out about a full plane of cargo each week. The crew takes it down to Guantanamo Bay and then immediately returns to Joint Base Charleston. Uh, my favorite part about the job would have to be seeing all the impact that we do with humanitarian aid, with our Norfolk Gitmo mission, um, just seeing everything that we're doing for those countries and uh, supporting and assisting downrange. Well, the 437th also provides a passenger terminal where military members and their families are able to hop on extra seats on a flight and go wherever that flight is going. The passenger terminal just underwent a $21 million renovation and has continually seen an uptick in people utilizing that option.